Hey what's up everyone this is Bro Smart and in this video I am going to compare the Nikon B500 with the Nikon B700 and the Canon A6540. So without wasting any time let's get into the video. So starting the video with the camera type these three cameras are compact digital cameras and often known as the point and shoot cameras. So you cannot change the lens and the lenses in these cameras are fixed so you cannot take out or change a lens so yeah it's not a DSLR so you cannot change the lens. Coming to sensors the Nikon B500 has 16 megapixel sensor the Nikon B700 has 20 megapixel sensor and the Canon SX540 has 20 megapixel. The Nikon B500 cost around 17,000 rupees in India. The Nikon B700 cost around 20,000 in India and the same will be for the Canon 540 which cost around 25,000. Coming to image sensor CMOS 16 megapixel sensor. The Nikon B700 has 20 megapixel CMOS sensor and the Canon SX540 has CMOS 20 megapixel sensor. Coming to the lens, the Nikon B500 has Nikkor 40x optical zoom lens. The B700 has 60x optical zoom lens with Nikkor glass lens. And the Canon SX540 has 50x Canon zoom lens with extra 100x zoom, which is amazing. Starting with the digital zoom, the Nikon B500 can go up to 4x. The Nikon B700 can go up to 4x and the same will be for the Canon. There are vibration reduction mode in B500, same will be for B700. Talking about the autofocus system, the Nikon B500 offers contrast detect autofocus with face priority manual mode with 99 focus areas, center, subject tracking and target finding autofocus. The same will be for the Nikon B700 because these cameras are almost the same so Nikon B500 and the Nikon B700 will have mostly the same features. Coming to Canon, the Canon SX540 has single autofocus and also have continuous autofocus with servo AF and also have the face tracking autofocus. Coming to monitor size, the Nikon B500 has 7.5cm which is 3 inch diagonal uh, screen but you cannot rotate the screen, it is not an articulating screen. Coming to B700, the B700 has articulating screens which means you can rotate the screen and I think you can see yourself when you're shooting a video. Now the Canon 540 has, has also the 3 inch display with approximately 100% coverage. These three cameras have TFT LCD display so the monitor resolution will be same for all these cameras. Between these three only the Nikon B700 has an electronic viewfinder. So yeah you are not getting a viewfinder with the Nikon B500 and with the Canon SX540. So you are only getting the electronic viewfinder of 0.5 cm with the Nikon B700. Coming to storage media you can you can install a SD card, SDHC card, SDXC card and, and all these memory cards you can see on the screen can be installed on the Nikon B500 and the same will be for the Nikon B700 and the Canon 540. Talking about file system, the Nikon B500 and the Nikon 700 and the Nikon B700 supports DCF files and EXIF 2.3 compliant. All these three cameras supports MP4 video recording, H.264 video recording and also MPEG. You can record clear audio with these three cameras. Uh, you can also click still images of high, res high resolution and only the Nikon B700 supports JPEG RAW format. So yeah, all these three cameras supports JPEG. And now if I compare these three cameras, I can clearly say that the Nikon B700 is the winner because you can click photos in RAW. You are getting the 60x zoom, which you are not getting with the Nikon B500 and the Canon SS540. The Canon SS540 only offers up to 50x but the Nikon B700 offers a zoom up to 60x. So yeah, I will uh, prefer the Nikon B700. The Nikon B500 can record videos up to 1080p and it cannot record 4K videos. Coming to B700, it can record 4K UHD videos up to 30 frames per second and full HD videos up to 60 frames per second which is amazing so you can record slow motion videos with the B700 because it can record 1080p videos at 60 frames per second so yeah you can reduce the speed and you will get a buttery smooth slow motion video if you capture videos if you shoot videos in 1080p with the Nikon B700 now coming to Canon it can record 1920 by 1080p which is a full version which is full HD videos up to 30 frames per second so yeah the Nikon B700 wins this round the Nikon B500 has ISO levels up to the ISO level 125 to 1600 and 3200 to 6400 which is available when using the auto mode. 
The Nikon B700 has a ISO level of 100 to 1600 and 3200 available when using the manual mode. The Canon SS540 has a auto ISO mode and if you are using the manual mode, the ISO modes are available from 80 to 3200. Talking about some mechanical things like the shutter type, you are getting a mechanical CMOS electronic shutter with the Canon B500 and you are also getting the same mechanical CMOS electronic shutter with the Nikon B700 and you are getting the same shutter with the Canon SX540. Here are more details on the screen, you can read the shutter speed, the self timer and the continuous shooting options. I will list down all the details on the screen, you can read it. All these three cameras have built in flash. Now I have personally tested the Nikon B500 so I can tell you can shoot continuous videos up to 1 hour 30 minutes with a full charge and you can click more than 700 photos on a single charge with the Nikon B500. I think it is same with the Nikon B500 and the Canon SX540 because the price is the same so you will get the same lithium ion batteries with it but with the Nikon B500 you are getting 4 batteries, a 4 AAA batteries, uh, they are all lithium ion and I used this camera personally and I know how good this camera is. So yeah I didn't face any problems with the Nikon B500 and comparing all these uh, specifications i can say that nikon p700 will be a perfect choice for you if you if you want to click good photos then i would always recommend the nikon p700 because of the specs you can record 4k videos with it but if you love canon you can also go for the canon sx540 because it also has a very good specs i am not i'm, I'm not saying that it has a very bad specs but yeah the nikon b700 is a clear winner the nikon b500 has bluetooth nfc wi-fi and the charging time of the Nikon B500 is 3 hours and there is no microphone jack. Coming to Nikon B700, there is Bluetooth, there is M NFC, there is Wi-Fi and the charging time is almost same which is 3 hours and there is no headphone jack. Coming to Canon SX540, there is no Bluetooth, there is Wi-Fi, there is NFC and the charging time is also approximately 4 hours and also there is no microphone jack last but not the least is the smart device app connectivity so you can use the snapbridge app but talking about the canon image transfer utility it is a great app the canon 540 has digit 6 sensor cameras like canon 200d which i record my videos with it is a great camera and the sensor is really good so yeah if you want a really good good sensor then go for the canon sx540 because it has the digit 6 sensor but if you are uh, planning to click amazing photos and if you want 4k video recording then go for the Nikon B700 because it has 4k video it has an amazing sensor because yeah I use the Nikon B500 as, and I can say that the Nikon B700 will have a good sensor because I used again I used the Nikon B500 and if you want to buy a really good camera then go for the Nikon B500 or if you want a really great camera under 20,000 rupees then go for the B700 because it has all the specs that you want and if you trust Canon, if you love Canon, then go for the Canon. And the truth is that we don't use cameras these days other than DSLRs. Yeah, DSLRs are really good. But talking about point and shoot, a uh, very few people purchase it because smartphones can click good photos uh, nowadays. So yeah, don't judge me on that. But still, if you want a good camera, then go for the Nikon B700 or the Canon SX540. So that was my video, guys. Hope I really helped you. So if you enjoyed watching this video, then do give a like. So with that being said, thanks for watching. This is Bro Smart, and I will catch you guys. In my next video.